Hey everybody, I'm Jackie Jing with David Griffin, and for the honor of Grayskull, Netflix's She-Ra is coming out soon. Was that a good intro? It was a fantastic intro, I and mean, you look perfect. My transformation pales in comparison to hers with all the colors and her hair blowing, but I'm a big fan of this. I thought it was very similar to the original Teen Titans show. What are you thinking? I think so too, because it has that team factor in it. You know, it's fun, there's a great action sequences. I especially want to focus on the team right now and go a little bit over what the story is. So of course you have Adora, who finds She-Ra's sword and transforms into She-Ra, but he also teams, she teams up with Glimmer and a bunch of other princesses, and they're trying to basically rebuild the princess army yeah. uh, that's been vacant for a while because of a war that happened several years earlier. And they're trying to find a new generation of princesses yeah. to uh, join their army. It's incredible lore, and it really pays homage to the show that we all love back in the day. Um, you see all of the great princesses in there, Marmista, Glimmer, Frosta, all of our favorite villains, Catra, Scorpia. Perfuma? Perfuma. A lot of A's at the end of these I know, names, I'm, I'm knowing, yeah. Are you sensing a pattern there? Yeah. But I was the most excited to see Seahawk. Remember I told you, yeah. I was like, that was one of my favorite episodes because it, the show is great. It has basically modernized this show. The dialogue is really funny. Again, we said very tonally, like Teen Titans. And, you know, there's like the sassy teen and then there's kind of like the empowered teen girl. And they're, they're all great. They all have fabulous personalities, but Seahawk is like right from the 80s. It's like they pulled him out and he's like singing shanties and talking with that 80s voice. And you're just like, oh my God, I loved it. Also, Swift Wind, mm -hmm. the horse, I'm like, I, I was just like in nostalgia land. I was like, is this happening? So much nostalgia. So it really pays homage to the show, but we said it modernizes it in a great way as well. Yeah, too. I mean, I think it a lot has to do with just how seriously the characters take themselves. They're in this yeah. just fantastical world filled with like, you know, flowers and uh, fragrances and everything so cute and colorful, but yeah. they take it themselves seriously. Yeah. Like they, they, this is not a joke. You know, they're actually really fighting a war. There's people's lives at stake. And so it works on a drama level, but also a comedy level. So great characters, but we also love the action. I mean, yeah. it, it's paying homage to the great transformations that we know and love. Voltron too, a little Voltron yeah. in there yeah, as well. Cause totally. it's from DreamWorks Animation. So yeah. I think if you're a fan of Voltron, you should definitely give she a try as well. Oh my gosh, absolutely love this. I binge watched it all in one day, but are you excited for Netflix's she -Ra? Tell us in the comments section. And don't forget to check out our other videos like what's new to Netflix in November and why Castlevania is the best video game adaptation ever. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch. For the honor of Grayskull.